So, Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan will be held for another 30 days after a Romanian judge found he is too dangerous to be released while police continue to investigate the sex trafficking case. Before we get to the main article, here are some comments. Whether you like or hate the guy, putting someone behind bars without any charges for so long doesn't sit well with me. Either charge him, set a court date and let him out on bail or deny bail if he's a flight risk. But to lock someone up without charge is worrying. Not even charged with a crime, if the global elite wants you cancelled, then they get you cancelled. They even cancelled Trump. This is outrageous. Three months in prison with no charges. How can you take three months to gather evidence? Why? This is wrong on so many levels. Tate, a British-American former kickboxer, has maintained his innocence since being detained with his brother Tristan, 34, on suspicion of rape, human trafficking and forming an organised crime ring. The brothers have been detained since December 29th after prosecutors from the DCOT Directorate for Investigating Organised Crime and Terrorism raided their Pipera property on suspicion of sex trafficking. They were arrested with Luana Radu, 32, a former Bucharest police officer and Georgiana Nagel, 28, a personal assistant to the Tate brothers. After today's ruling, the two models were placed under house arrest. The Tate brothers have repeatedly asked to be released from prison while the inquiry is ongoing, but Romanian courts have refused. Tate told the Romanian court that he is being detained in jail to make him mentally ill, and that his imprisonment is part of a scheme to make him succumb. The brothers' lawyers earlier said they expected they would be released, and one of the lawyers, Eugene, said that they would challenge a decision for them to remain behind bars. A second lawyer, Constantine Ion Gliga, said they were quite certain about the verdict because no new evidence had been presented. Prosecutors can seek the courts to keep defendants in custody for up to 180 days. While Tate maintains his innocence, a Romanian prosecutor's DCOT announced in a statement that six victims of human trafficking had been discovered. They said that suspected victims were detained against their will in an armed safe house near Bucharest and made to create pornographic content to be published online. So there you have it, another 30 days, which comes to a total of 90 days because the Romanian courts are doing this in 30 day increments by the looks of it. And let's just hope that it doesn't get to 180 days because that would then just be a waste of life on something which you are just being accused of and that there is no evidence to back up the claims and charges. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.